How are you all? Okay. Here again, I am with our chapter six, integers. I hope you have understood what is integers, how it is there. Uh, you know how these negative numbers are there. Last video, we have just learned the introduction of the negative integers and how it, you can relate it with the positive integers. Okay. So always remember the negative integers are always performed uh, in a opposite to the positive integers. So if you want to understand negative integers, you all know positive integers very well. So you have to think opposite to the uh, the positive integers. Okay. So you have to see. Okay. In positive integer, how it happens? Okay. Then it's opposite happens to the negative integers. So today again we'll understand uh, a little more about integers. Okay. How it is in our day to day life. It is applicable. How it is useful. Okay. So here. Table. So here in this table, as I have said, this profit and loss. So this profit and loss are opposite to each other. So I have taken two opposites, and with the help of the integers, how will I show this profit and loss in the form of numbers, in the form of positive and in the form of negative integers? As I have said, for the positive integers, we generally don't show the plus. without sign so negative integers always represented by the minus sign if the minus sign you don't put then it will be considered as a positive integers okay so let's uh, learn this table i have taken it is there from your textbook only page number 116 you can do it in your textbook after watching this video okay so that is mustard oil You can 
ratio eight plus one hundred and fifty. Representation with the proper sign. So profit we are showing with the plus sign because it is positive because it is going up. Okay, and loss means something is we are losing something is going down. This going down, going up. It is just I am I am telling you so that you can understand which thing. into the negative integers okay so now the next rise is 250 rupees it is a loss so loss will show with the negative sign 250 okay the third one is a, a black paper it's a 225 it's a profit so we will show it with the plus third one is wheat which is again a profit so we will show it with the plus 200 okay this uh, the last one is groundnut oil which is a loss so we will show it with the minus 330 rupees so practically if you want to understand that how integer is useful to our day to day show something which is giving you a uh, a uh, uh, you know any uh, plus uh, or you can say something you are gaining that we show always into the positive integer something which you are losing or going down we show with the negative sign with the negative sign it becomes negative integers okay now the same thing we will understand with the new Okay, so here you can see that it is again a try this of page number one hundred and sixteen, your textbook. Try this page number one hundred and sixteen. This is I am doing from your textbook. So the first. Now, when you are talking about below sea level, as I have said, if something is going down, you have to present it into the form of negative integers. Otherwise, it will present to the positive integers. Okay, so here we will show it as a minus hundred meter. Okay, so the next one now B is twenty five degree Celsius below. Right side of. 
back to zero. So here if they are saying that 25 degrees Celsius below zero degree temperature. Below means minus 25. Minus 25 degree Celsius. Now the third one is 15 degree Celsius. Below. Both the sides you will have the same 
numbers. Okay, so here first of all we will put the zero. So we will put the zero because on the right side of the zero you will have a positive integers. On the left side of the zero you will have negative integers. Okay, we have to show this three on the number line minus three on the number line which is negative. So always remember the negative numbers fall on the left side of the zero. So here you can say it is one, two, three, four. Here minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay, you have shown all the numbers on the number line. Now the question is minus three. Where is minus three? So you have to highlight minus three. You have to put the box on minus three because this is your answer. Okay, so this way you can show the given number on the number line. Suppose I give you one more number that is plus five, or else I'll just give you the five. If I give the sign, if I don't give the sign, it has the same value. Okay, because positive integers we don't show the sign. This is as it is your starting, you are learning. So, for your better understanding, we are putting this plus sign. Otherwise, always remember, if there is no sign, it is positive integer. For negative integer, you will have the minus sign. Okay, so now let's show this plus five on the number line. So here, as I say, always start with the zero. Okay, so now here is a one, here is a two, three, four, five, here six, here minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Okay, my answer is positive five. So I have to go to the positive side. Where is positive five? Here is the positive five, and I will be highlighting. I will be highlighting my answer, which is positive five. Okay, so this way you. show the equal numbers you if you want more numbers on the negative side you can uh, uh, decrease the portion of the positive integers if you want more integers on the positive side you can decrease the portion of negative integers okay now there is a try this on page number 118 that mark Just one time you have to show. You don't have to show it again and again. Second thing, remember for each number you have to draw the separate individual number line. Okay, so here is a seven minus four minus eight minus one and minus three. Okay, so here you have to draw individual number line for each and every number. Okay, now let's see few integers and how to compare it. Okay, as we have understood that how we can count it bigger or smaller. And as I have said that all the time it won't be possible that you will be having and you will be able to draw the number line. Suppose I give you numbers into three digit, four digit. For those numbers it is not possible to draw the number line. Okay, so here we'll understand that without um, number line, how can we compare the given numbers? So here let's have few examples or few sums uh, regarding the comparing or you can say the ordering. Yes, if you'll understand the comparing, you'll automatically you'll be able to do the ordering. Ordering means ordering in ascending order. 
ordering in descending order like that. Okay, so here we have a few numbers with 0, minus 1, then uh, minus 50, minus 70, minus 53, minus 5, and this minus 100. Minus 101, 50, minus 51, minus 7, and 1. Okay, so these are the numbers. Now here, see, if you see the 100 and 101, 50, 51, this 50, 17, all the time it is not possible to show them. Four, you're 
थ्री ओके सो दिस इज असेंडिंग ऑर्डर नाउ इफ यू से डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर इफ यू से डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर यू हैव टू परफॉर्म ऑपोजिट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द थ्री देन जीरो माइनस फाइव माइनस माइनस वन वन फाइव दिस इज डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद smallest number so this is called ordering integers okay we'll continue more about integers in our next video thank you